every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be the biggest sale of the year is happening right now during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda. For a limited time, make no payments for 90 days on every new Honda. That's right, you choose and make no payments for 90 days at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Welcome as we start the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your little slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend some time with you and yours. We start today's show as we typically do with Louisiana news and the fact that the recall effort for Latoya Cantrell, New Orleans mayor, has failed. Uh, Governor John Bell Edwards announcing this week that more than 39,000 signatures were deemed invalid by New Orleans Parish Registrar of Voters Sandra Wilson. Um, forgive me for saying it this way. Something doesn't smell right, y'all. That many invalid signatures raises all sorts of red flags. Now, let me say for the record, I have no dog in this hunt. I'm not an Orleans Parish resident, nor an Orleans Parish voter. So whatever the folks there decide is in their best interest, as far as leadership is concerned, that is strictly on them. But the number, the sheer volume of invalid signatures is troubling. Now, that being said, I am not a betting man. Y'all know this. If you've listened to or watched me for any amount of time, you know Clarence is not a betting man. But I'll take odds on this. Of the 39,000 invalid signatures, what do you think the odds are that a sizable percentage of that 39,000 have not voted in some other election in recent memory. You see where this goes? You see where this goes? Raphael, and forgive me, I, I've, I've covered your stuff for years and I still don't know if it's Goyanesh or Goyaneshi. I've heard it pronounced both ways, Metropolitan Crime Commission. That's something that you might want to uh, take a peek behind the curtain on to think that in an effort to remove someone from office, that many thousands of individuals that are not qualified to take part would choose to do so. Now listen, I get it, it's Louisiana. I understand, politics is a contact sport. We all know this. But at the end of the day, it would seem to me, if I were to approach someone uh, excuse me, you got a second? Are you a registered voter? First thing I'm going to ask. Well, yes, I am. Okay, well, would you be interested in signing a petition to remove whomever? But the first thing you want to know is, are you a registered voter? 
Now, there's always the possibility they pose that question to every single individual and every single one said, yes, I am. <laughs> Obviously, they're not. What's really troubling as well are the categories included as to why certain people were declared invalid. The overwhelming majority of the 39,000 were listed as other. There's an inability to read the signature. It's not legible. That's understandable. There's the fact that I think 12 were listed as deceased. If you're dead, obviously you can't vote and you certainly couldn't sign the petition. Throw it out. But when you list over 20 some odd thousand in the category of other, forgive me after the last presidential election if I'm a little hesitant to take things at face value, but I get the sneaking suspicion I am in no way, shape, or form the only one who looks at it this way. Meanwhile, the organizers of the failed recall effort saying in part the following, quote, the efforts of the recall have only just begun. We are exploring all legal options at this time. We will also move forward with legislation to correct the injustices that we have met along the way in the process. We will continue to demand accountability from our elected officials and we will continue to fight for the city that we love. That is the truest manifestation of what we hold so near and dear in this country, the American way. And only time will tell inevitably what ends up happening with all of this. Rest assured, we will be right there to keep an eye on it. In other Louisiana news, I, I guess um, <clears throat> to say struggles with infrastructure is one of our major problems in Baton Rouge would probably qualify as a gross understatement. Yesterday, it was announced that we are closer than ever to finally having all of the red lights affecting traffic in Baton Rouge synchronized in one location. <clears throat> Am I the only one that remembers when Mayor, when Kip Holden then State Representative Kip Holden, was running for mayor. One of the very first things that he platformed was synchronizing all the red lights. If memory serves correct, his first two terms, he touted synchronizing the red lights. And Mayor Broom now has been in office two terms. So that's a minimum 16 years we've been working on synchronizing the red lights. You know, you've heard me say this before. One of the big problems in our state is that we have, the last time I checked, one of the largest percentages of people who've never lived anywhere other than Louisiana. Well, Clarence, why is that important? Well, it's important because we have a huge portion of our population that have no idea that there are different and other ways to get things done. If you're only exposed to certain things and you never take it upon yourself to look outside your sphere of influence, all you know is what you've seen. You never know that there are better and different ways to get things done. And that continues to plague us here in Louisiana. Another example. It was also announced this week that we are now, God willing, about two years away from completion 
of the Comet Diversion Canal. <laughs> now, those of you that have some of this, like your buddy Clarence, you've been around a while, and you know, wait a minute, Comet Diversion Canal, what does that ring a bell? Oh, I know, we've been talking about this for almost 40 years now. But the good news is we are now only two years away from completion of this 30, 35, 40 year long project. I understand in many circles, people, and you may have run across this in your workplace. There are some people that don't want things to get better unless they can get the credit for it. In the meantime, the rest of us continue to suffer. The rest of us continue to go without resources because some individual that could have made a difference hasn't because they ultimately would not get the credit for it. We should be better than this, y'all. We really should. For it to take this long to synchronize the red lights is embarrassing to take this long and still not be completing the Comet Diversion Canal is embarrassing. And that's not to mention the financial impact, the upheaval of people's lives, and the just sheer wasting of resources. But at the end of the day, what is the old adage? You can't teach what you don't know. You can only teach what you know. And if you don't know, sadly, many of us have no clue. We don't know what we don't know. That's where it's incumbent that we do a better job of electing people that if they don't know, at least care enough about us to look outside of our boundaries to find solutions to our problems. The fact of the matter is, the people in Louisiana are such God-fearing, America-loving, salt-of-the-earth good people, and we deserve better. We deserve better. But as is the case with so many things in life, you will only get it if you demand it. Now, for some of y'all, that's not going to sink in until later. But that's okay, as long as you get it at some point. We're heading into the first break of today's show. We were thinking by now that our latest installment of America's Got Trump would have unfolded, but not yet. We're still waiting. Some interesting observations on this foolishness when we continue the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and by the way, we'll give you fun too. Right, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state. We even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. 
I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The season of inspiration is the perfect time to discover the enhanced Mazda CX-5. Named a 2022 IIHS Safety Pick Plus Award winner. It's highest safety award honor. Choose from over 45 CX-5s available at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, um... As an American who at one time, people that looked like me were denied certain rights, freedoms, privileges, things that all other Americans were warmly embraced by. I have a personal stake in what happens in this country. As a man who for many years was thought incapable of learning, incapable of appreciating freedom, incapable of understanding, living by, and abiding by the rules laid out in our United States Constitution. I take it personally when people decide to step outside of those boundaries and deprive another American of our God-given and constitutionally appointed protections as far as civil liberties, freedoms, and rights are concerned. So when I see the left time after time after time after time after time go after the likes of Donald Trump, it is particularly disturbing to me I understand everybody's experience in life is not like mine. I get that. There are many people who have never had to fight for anything. Others have done all the fighting for them. Whether it's on a field of battle, whether it's in the halls of Congress, whether it's at your local school board meeting, wherever. All of these things were simply handed to these folks. And it is true what the old folks will tell you. The things you had to work for and fight for, those are the things that you appreciate the most. 
you want proof think back to your first car the hand-me-down the one that was left over after mom and dad both got new cars and you were getting close to driving age so they held on to that old beater for you as you get ready to start school you get your first car <laughs> mine was a 1970 Toyota Corolla think about how you treated that hand-me-down car that was just given to you versus the first car you had to work to get oh you washed that car with such loving strokes you waxed it you polished it you did the armor all the whole night why well because you had to work for it so consequently you appreciated more watching what the left Democrats have done and are continuing to try to do to Donald James Trump is embarrassing it is insulting and many argue it is way over the line as far as illegalities are concerned this tells you how desperate they have become this entire case hinges on two things a porn star and a guy who's been to federal prison for repeatedly lying that's the cornerstone of your case something that has never been done in the history of this country and it's all hinging upon testimony of a porn star and a convicted liar let's not even get into the fact that when Bragg first took office he looked at the case and decided there's no crime here we're not going to prosecute now all of a sudden coincidentally by the way after Donald J Trump announces he's going to run for president now all of a sudden he views the case in a totally different light wink wink what is so very troubling about this aside from the fact that it's a porn star and a convicted liar aside from the fact that this is something that's never ever been done in the history of our nation remember when Donald Trump is, uh, said the following not so very long ago they're not after me they're after you I'm just in the way now more than ever it's easy to see what he was talking about if they can do this to him and get away with it just imagine what they can do to you if they are allowed to pull this sort of you insert the expletive that I'm going to delete right here just imagine what they can do to any one of us you know what's so ironic the last couple decades we have had the mainstream media and those on the left hammer us incessantly with Republicans, conservatives, they don't care nothing about the rule of law. Do tell. In recent memory, of all the things that the courts have overturned, of all the things that in our society we've gone through in recent memory, 
you do realize, do you not, who the people have been that have been engaging in the illegal activity and breaking of said laws? But they would have you think, oh, it's them evil conservatives. It's all them evil. And, and you know what's funny? Marty and I have been telling y'all for years, particularly when it comes to those on the left, don't listen to what they say. Watch what they do. Just watch what they do. And they have gotten it down to a science now. Here's all you need to remember, y'all. When you see those on the left demonizing those of us on the right, conservatives, Republicans, what have you, listen to what they're telling you, what they're accusing the other side of, and that's what they're doing. It doesn't take much to see it. Well, those conservatives, they're, they're, they're waging a war on women. Um, you mean the same ones that y'all can't define what a woman is? That group of people? You mean the same group of people that are trying to teach my son behind my back that, yeah, he's my son, but he can be my daughter. Those people? <laughs> and for the life of me, I cannot understand how many of y'all are still going to vote Democrat. Yet and still, you don't believe your son can be your daughter. You believe still that God's gift to humankind are children. And they should be allowed to live, not murdered in the womb. You don't believe in that crap. You don't believe that our borders should be wide open so that any and everybody that wants to can just walk the hell on in and set up shop. You don't believe in that. And I could go all the way down the list of things, especially if you're black. 78%, according to Rasmussen, not Clarence, 78% of black folks say, oh, oh, no, bro, we need more police in our community, not less. But these people led the charge to defund the police. And just, what, a week ago, Joe Biden, lying on a national pulpit, accused Republicans of the one being the ones who want to defund the police. What did I just tell you a couple minutes ago? What they, all you got to do is listen to what they accuse somebody else of doing and immediately you know, aha, that's what you're doing. Now I figured it out. I got a personal stake in this, y'all. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my solemn oath. I will fight this kind of crap with every fiber, every ounce of my being. Because it took too much for people that look like me to get the rights and the freedoms and the liberties that we enjoy this day. And to let some clowns like this take it away, not on my watch, son, not just like talking about it. Uh-uh. No, sir. And for those of you, Clarence, I can't believe you say that. You're a black man with all the stuff that black people have gone through in this country. Well, answer me this. Where would you be? this day without the United States of America. I'll wait because you're going to need some time to come up with something stupid to try to answer that one with. Where would you be this day other than speaking German or Japanese? Where would you be this day without the United States of America? It's rhetorical. We already know. I just thought I'd give you a chance one more time to make an even bigger fool out of yourself on the left. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, 
talk more about governments around the world and particularly our neighbor up north who says, y'all not capable of thinking for yourself. That should be the government's job. Got some news for you, Justin. We'll talk about that when we continue the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You could be driving a Now's the time to save on new Accords during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. Get our lowest prices and biggest savings on our largest selection of Accords this year. Hurry in and save during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. I-49 just south of Opelousas. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hot spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. We um, have now arrived at a point in the world's history where decisions made by elected leaders and so-called experts have now had the opportunity to come clean in the wash, for lack of a better phrase. Understanding that um, when COVID-19 first hit the scene, we found ourselves in a situation where we were literally in untested waters. We were told things, instructed to do things, given information on things that we had no way of verifying. We had to, quote, trust the science. And of course, we now know that in many cases, the science had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Well, if you get the shot, you, can't, you won't catch COVID and you won't give it to anybody else. 
we now know that was a lie. We need two weeks to flatten the curve. Remember that one? We now know that was a lie. It is safe and effective. Have y'all been keeping up with the dying suddenly phenomenon? All around the world, particularly young people, totally healthy, with allegedly some underlying condition, suddenly dropping dead. The most recent high profile, I say high profile because our world now is unduly influenced overwhelmingly by people in sports. You know, particularly in America, we have this sports obsession. And because somebody can run faster or jump higher than someone else, we tend to seek out their opinions on whatever, even though they have no experience, no training, or anything in that area of expertise, but because they can jump higher or faster, we pay attention to what they say about something. They have no idea what the hell they're talking about, but I digress. Recently, two-time British boxing champion, 19 years old, just beat a Polish fighter for his second title, found dead at the age of 19. Now, I have shared with you before that there are groups out there that are tracking this phenomenon around the world. Over a 20-year span, we averaged about 66 people, athletes, dying suddenly without any warning all around the planet. With the advent of this experimental gene therapy, I'm not going to call it a vaccine because it's not. It's experimental gene therapy. With the advent of the shots, many called the clot shot, the number has gone from 66 a year to over 1,000 in one year. And, of course, anyone that questions it, <laughs> They already got a list waiting for you of the ugly, dirty, low-down names they can call you. Science denier, flat earther, as Justin Trudeau likes to call us, conspiracy theorist. Well, explain these numbers, if you will. And the only common denominator in all of this is that the rampant increases in people dying suddenly, the only common denominator is it all started when we started putting this experimental gene therapy into people's bodies. And yet, there are people like Justin Trudeau who this week at a town hall meeting came out and said, in essence, and I'll paraphrase for you, we as the government need to be the ones responsible for deciding what can or cannot be published on the Internet regarding COVID because there's too much misinformation and disinformation out there for us to leave it to people to make up their own minds. Newsflash, Justin, I don't need you for a damn thing. 
I have the God-given intelligence and resources to read for myself what I want to read and decide for myself what I want to believe. And you and the rest in government are the last people I want in charge of what I get to read to make up my own mind. How many times do I have to tell you? This is not about what they're telling you it's about. It's about control. You ever notice those on the left, particularly in recent memory, they want to control what you can eat and what you can't eat. You don't need to eat meat. You're killing the planet. They want to control what you can and cannot drink. They want to control what you can and cannot drive. You see the newest one in California this week? They banned, starting next year, any new gasoline stations from being built. We get to decide what you drive. We get to decide what you can think. Well, you have to use their correct pronouns. The hell I do. If you're a dude, I'm going to call you a dude. End of discussion. And I don't care if you or anybody else doesn't like it. I am not going to kowtow to these folks with obvious mental defects. Now, if you want to be that idiot, you go right ahead. Have at it. But there is no way in hell you're going to make me kowtow to it. My late father would roll over in his grave. A son, you know that's not a girl. What are you doing calling him her? <clears throat> but see, some of y'all, y'all deserve to be ruled. You don't have enough of this. That God gave us as Americans to get off your lazy you know what. Do your homework. Do your research. And learn to think for your freaking self. You running around here voting for people. And say, well of course a boy can be a girl. Do y'all realize. <laughs> we now have. On the highest court in the land. A woman. Who willingly said in front of the entire freaking planet. Well, I can't define what a woman is. I'm not a biologist. By the way, what the hell is it with Joe Biden and black women? First, he brought us Kamala Harris. Somebody, Marty said jungle fever. First, he brings us a woman. To be second in command as the leader of the free world that even her own party didn't want. Then he brings us Katanji Brown Jackson. The one freaking woman on the entire planet that can't define what a woman is. Leave it to Joe Biden to go find her. Now he brings us Kareen Jean-Pierre. Easily. Hands down, the worst White House press secretary in history. But see, this is what happens when you hire box checkers. Well, let's see. Uh, Kamala Harris. Ooh, she's black and she's a female. We can check two boxes. That's a twofer. Okay, we'll take her. Then there's Katanji Brown Jackson. Oh, she's black and she's a female. That's a twofer. We can check two boxes. Lord, they must have thrown a party when they came up with Corrine Jean-Pierre. Black, female, lesbian, and an immigrant. Oh, my God, we're in hit for the cycle. <clears throat> and y'all still voting Democrat? You know, there used to be a thing in this country called shame. You're right. Marty said, what that is? There used to be a thing called shame. Had I, and probably you as well, particularly if you're a boomer, 
Had you gotten in front of the international press and said something as freaking stupid as, well, I can't define what a woman is. I'm not a biologist. And there's no way in hell I'd ever show my face in public again. If I had said something remotely that stupid, y'all would be running around here talking about whatever happened to Clarence. Where did Clarence go? You would never see me again in life. I would be too embarrassed to show my face in public. But every time you see her, boy, she's skinning and grinning. There used to be a thing called shame. Hmm. <laughs> My, how we miss the good old days. Final break of today's show. When we come back, got a special segment for you. It is entitled, I'm done with white people, slash, and what else have y'all been hiding from me? We'll talk about that when we wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremonti's.com. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready, and health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. If you were not with us during the last segment, 
you're not aware that this segment, and I'm having fun, y'all. This segment is entitled, I'm through with white people. Slash, what else y'all been hiding from a brother? One of the things that I love about the human experience, my late father, God bless him, taught all of his children that a man should learn something new every day. Broaden your horizons, expand your outreach. You should learn something new every day. As a professional broadcaster, now in my 43rd year of broadcasting, my ultimate fear has always been getting hiccups in the middle of a show. Imagine making your living. It's kind of like Lee, uh, lead singer for the band that's going to be here next weekend, getting hiccups in the middle of a song. It, it is deathly frightening. Well, Tuesday of this week, first time in 43 years, y'all, in the middle of the show, uh, uh, couldn't stop. So I soldier on through two segments. Right before the third segment, A.T., Alan Trailer walks in and says, uh, got hiccups on, dude. I say, yeah, man, I'm dying. I mean, you're dying. He said, well, I can fix it just like that. I'm like, yeah, right. Okay, sure. Yeah. He said, no, man, I'm serious. I can fix your hiccups just like that. So I said, all right, I'll bite. Now, as he's explaining this, out of the corner of my eye, I see Marty going. <laughs> as if saying to himself, I can't believe this fool is going to believe this. So here's what Alan told me to do. If you got hiccups, get a chair. And your water. Sit in the chair. Bend over as far as you can. Which means you're going to have to tilt the bottle and drink your water. Y'all, five seconds later, hiccups were gone. Most amazing thing I have seen in life. But then it dawned on me. How long have white people known about this and didn't tell brothers? How long y'all, wait a minute, wait a it, I have lived on this earth for 65 years and I'm just finding out that white people know how to stop hiccups like that? Now, as a thinking man, the next thing I had to ask myself is, well, wait a minute. If white people have been knowing all this time how to stop hiccups instantaneously and didn't tell black people, what else y'all been hiding from us all these years? All the white people here in old school barbecue are just dying laughing at me. Y'all had black people all these years Breathing in paper bags. And now I know. Now I know y'all were sitting there going, uh, look at this fool. Look at this fool, bro. You know, <laughs> hyperventilating and carrying on, breathing in the paper bags when y'all knew all this time. All you got to do is sit in that chair, bend over as far as you can, and drink your water. All the time I'm running around here with my face stuck in a paper bag. And y'all probably going, uh, look, he bought it. He bought it, bruh. Look at it. Look at it. So what else y'all been hiding from us? Well, I decided Tuesday that come today's show, I'm going to let the cat out the bag. I'm going to teach all black people. I'm going to teach them how to do it. I'm going to teach them how to do it. That's one y'all not going to hide from us any longer. Did y'all know about this? Amy say, I didn't know about it. I'm white, so I must not be white. <laughs> but see, that's why you talk to people, number one. Number two, this is another classic example of why I am so, thank you, God, I am so proud to be a conservative. Because if I were a liberal, 
Oh, I'd be looking to sue some white people. Good point. Marty said, if you, if you were a liberal, you'd have drowned. <laughs> I would have been looking for somebody to sue. Y'all been discriminating against me all these years. Y'all could have told a black man about this cure for hiccups. If I was a liberal, that's the way I would think. Who was it? Chris Rock this week that told a room full of Democrats, y'all can't be so stupid as to indict Trump. I mean, indicting Donald Trump is like indicting Tupac. All you're going to do is let him sell more records. Are y'all that stupid? Yeah. Chris, they're liberals. Of course they're that stupid. They're liberals. These are the same people that will try to convince you your son can be your daughter. Of course they're stupid. These are the same people that think there's no harm done in having drag queen shows for kids in kindergarten. Of course they're stupid. They're telling you they're stupid. But after all this time, I found out that there is in fact something to this racism thing. If I'd have been white, y'all would have told me about fixing hiccups a long time ago, wouldn't you? <laughs> I just had to get that off my chest. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And I will forever be in the debt of Alan Trailer because I no longer have to live my broadcast life in abject fear of getting hiccups in the middle of a show. The old folk used to say, when you had hiccups, oh, you're growing. Well, I think I'm long past that point, so it, it has nothing to do with that. But just because I was open-minded enough, even though, like I say, out of the corner of my eye, I could see Marty doing this, bro, don't you fall for this okey-doke. Don't fall for it, bro. I'm glad I listened. But it said to me, Imagine how much better off we would be as a country and as a people if on even the simplest of things we learned to talk with one another. Not talk at them, not talk down to them, but talk with one another. My time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But you already know the drill. Uh-huh. That's right. This day, maybe more so than any other day in history. I give it to you. You know what? You are 100% correct. America, we are not perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you realize he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Either way, ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you soon. God bless.